Hey guys, Samoji here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to manually copy worlds. So for this, you're going to need um, Sims 4 Studio. And so once you've downloaded that, uh, if you haven't already, um, come back here and I'll show you what to do. Alright, so the first thing you do is you pick out which world you're going to copy. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose Delso Valley because it's a small world. So the first thing you need to do is you need to evict all of the households from the world you want to copy. So we're going to go in here and we're going to evict all of these households from Delso Valley. This is very important because if you don't do this, it can corrupt your game. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is save this as a backup file. So I'm just going to call it um, tutorial. And this is my test save anyway, so I don't really care if anything happens to it. But if it's like a save that you're really attached to, you should definitely make a backup. So once that's done, you can just like exit your game and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Documents, and then Electronic Arts, and then The Sims 4, and then Saves. Um, it's recommended that you sort by date modified, because then you can just take the one at the top here, and then you can drag it onto your Sims 4 Studio shortcut. So you just go like this and then it will open up your file in the sims 4 studio okay so the next thing you're gonna want to do is find this file on the side here that says save game data it's easier if you sort by type because then it'll be in alphabetical order so once you found save game data go over here to neighborhoods you're gonna have to scroll down a bit and click edit items so then you have to find the world that you want to make a copy of in this case we're going to be editing del sol valley and then press copy and then it'll put the valley down here you have to rename it say del sol valley 2 and then take the neighborhood idea and change it just change one character it doesn't matter which one but for simplicity's sake i'm just going to change this zero here to a one then highlight the neighborhood id and copy it and then press save now comes the tricky part you go here to zones and you have to find all of the um, lots that come with del sol valley so this may take a while but you can just kind of skip through like this until you find one that you recognize. So here we have Upland Place, which comes from Del Sol Valley. So what I'm going to do is take all of the, um, the lots from Del Sol Valley, which you can see here. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take them all and I'm going to press copy. And then it copies them down here. So now what you have to do is go to the neighborhood ID, not the zone ID, and paste in your new ID. Or if you want to, you can just change the zeros to ones, but I find it easier to do it this way. So you just have to do it for all of the lots in the neighborhood. And then once you're done, you can move on to the next step. Okay, so once you're done, you have to go down here to the zone ID and you have to change this zero to a one. So just go and change all of the zeros to ones like so. And then once you're done with that, then the hard part is over and it pretty easy from then on. So once you're done, you click save, and then you go back up here to neighborhoods and click edit items. And then you have to go find your um, Del Sol Valley 2 or whatever um, neighborhood you, cho I mean world you chose to clone. 
then you go to lots and click edit items. So then all of the lots will show up here. And all you have to do is once again, just change this zero to a one. All right, so I'm just about finished. And now once you're done, what you do is you click save and then you click save again. And then you go down here and you click this save button and then it'll say your package has been saved. And once you see that, then the neighborhood has been cloned. But here's the question, was it cloned successfully? Now, just a fair warning, don't be surprised if you don't do it successfully the first time. If you mess something up, then just backtrack, see what your mistake was, and then try again with a new file. So go back to your backup and then save as and start again. So anyways, as you can see here, I have a Del Sol Valley here and Del Sol Valley 2 here. So if I click on Del Sol Valley, you'll see all of these um, lots here and whatnot. But the thing is, they're actually not here um, if you've done it correctly. So let's say um, Vanessa's house here. What you do is before you go into a lot, I recommend what you do is go into um, build mode like this and then you'll see the lot is empty. This is supposed to happen because it doesn't clone like the actual house is over. It, it's just making a clone of the world. And then that way it's actually a good thing because then you can put in like different houses and it'll be almost like you have a second world. So then I recommend you do that for all of the lots in the neighborhood just so you can get like a better idea of like what the neighborhood looks like because it still keeps the old thumbnails so all you have to do is just go in, into build mode and then back into the manage worlds and then it'll update the thumbnail accordingly and anyways if you see that there's no signs of corruption or anything then you can simply just go in to your manage households here and you can find the sims that used to live here and move them back in so in this case i'm gonna go and find it might be under no all right so look you here's um vanessa we'll move her back into her old lot and here's something actually to note if you move a sim in then the other Del Sol Valley will temporarily turn into a Del Sol Valley 2 as well, or whatever. Basically, it'll like, kind of, they'll get linked and be like the same, but it's easy to fix. All you have to do is press play with the household. So in this case, I'm going to enter Vanessa's household and then go back to Manage Worlds. And then you'll see that once I get back to Manage Worlds, then the problem will be solved and see it's already back to what it used to be so anyways um i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial or uh, that you found it very informative and let me know if you have any questions just ask in the comment section and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye